Hello and welcome to more Night of the Full Moon. Now today I set out to try to go down the equipment build for the Soul Hunter. A build that can work very, very well, especially as you pack abilities into your weaker spells to make them more and more powerful. Let's see how I did. We are, of course, going to face off against the Cursed Werewolf. And what blessings come down. So far I'm not liking what I see. Two additional damage, resurrection, uh, the uh, gain one health, and of course add one temporary counter. How will we deal with this? Let's find out. Now, you may have noticed at the very beginning we shuffled a lot of equipment into our deck. We'll talk about that at the end of the video of how we got that to go off, but for now, let's go ahead and draw some cards. Let's assign some contracts. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to click that, but that works. Or rather, it didn't work, but I say it did. Oh, magic totem we got from the Scarecrow, and Vengeance is going to build and build and build and build. You will note that we have a very large amount of health, uh, because we didn't spend much on spells throughout the game, uh, we focused mainly on getting equipment. We were able to spend a lot on the uh, health upgrades at the end of chapter. Ah, Nell, perhaps the most important card in this deck, because it ensures I don't draw just equipment. And we will, of course, draw. And we have Stigmata. Wonderful. Vengeance is continuing to build. I'm actually very grateful that we don't see Justice Trial Blessing on him or the Confession Blessing. But you can see that he's still doing quite a bit of damage, getting those counters and getting mana to kind of prevent us from harvesting health. So let's go ahead. We're going to start a continuation of drawing. And we're doing quite a bit of damage to ourselves, but we're going to counter cards as he brings them down. Beautiful. A couple more Spirit Links, and you'll note that Spirit Link does damage uh, equal to whatever damage we take on our turn as piercing. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six of them down, means the Spiritualism does 12 damage. All piercing. And let's go ahead and... Hmm. Let's grab the Dark World so we can use it properly. And we'll use it to gain Vanish. And you can see we've gone way up. Now our Vengeance continues to build. It's at 93. We're not going to use it just yet. Now he's healing as he does damage to us too. So this is kind of a health battle. So I really hate to see the Resurrection alongside that. And the benefit that we have is that Death Comes starts to really stack. Now we are at 161. I do plan on ending the game with Vengeance. Oh, Poison. No, 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 no. Don't you understand that Poison does six times the damage to you that it does to me? Okay, and we have Stigmata. We'll draw a card. It will be Death Comes, and look at this, Vengeance. Death. Death to the Cursed Werewolf, even with our misclicks. So, how did we do it? Let's find out. Now, real quick, if you're enjoying this, maybe consider subscribing. It always helps the channel. Back to the game. Now, first and foremost, uh, focusing on equipment cards early is necessary, and this can be really, really difficult as they don't start to chain together, particularly 
if you don't get good ones until about mid game. Nell is perhaps the most important equipment card. It will draw the lowest spell card, and that means that your hand is already getting an additional card, but it also means that you're not always getting the equipment just like we talked about. Choosing equipment blessings over eh, really other types of blessings, as you see down here, uh, we went with prepared, we uh, went with unidentified antiques, all of these working well together make our spell cards powerful but if we can't draw those spell cards then it doesn't matter so equip your nail first equip your spirit link second if you want some extra health guider lamp siphons for every spell card you play and you can start seeing spells that cost health are starting to be extraordinarily damaged even when they countered the card because i had to pay the cost I did a ton of damage. Now, for your starting equipment, the Adjudicator, that can always be equipped last. If you want to pick up free mana so that you're not stuffing your deck full of mana cards, then get the Magic Totem from the Scarecrow. You'll be able to start stacking this to gain more and more mana. Now, the last thing that you want to look for, and make sure you have equipped for this combo to go off is death movement death movement when you shuffle a card to either deck shuffle another copy of that card so why is this so important well because we get the blessing that says when you have equipment in your deck shuffle a copy of that card into the deck what you're doing is you're actually shuffling two copies so rather than just having two soul links we shuffle two times two is total of six soul links and it just keeps going on and on you saw all of the equipment that we got it is an absolute wonderful mess of various things and of course vengeance just makes this work well because you're constantly dealing damage and healing yourself now you will want to make sure that you stack low cost siphon cards such as attracting soul and spiritualism Assimilate is nice as well, and remember, any two-cost card that you put in will vie for Nell's attention. And just in case you have any issues, a prophecy to make sure you get the Nell's out of your deck and into your hand after you've done your death movement copy, well, that's all the better. Now if you've enjoyed this, let me know. I am Nidanoski, and as always, have fun.